We're live at Threat Stadium here in New York, New York, the home of the Tyrants. Who would like to remind you that the game will begin after the mandatory half an hour clapping is over. The first one to stop clapping will be killed. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Green Bay Attackers battle. The New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now. You know what <laughs> Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because MFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. Reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And that's in good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten go oh, man about a six yard gain hey do me a favor if my parole officer calls i was with you last night bricks no problem i spent the night in lockup for solicitation First down. See if they can get something going here. First and two. He is fighting for every yard. Second down and six. And he laterals the ball. And he runs it in for the touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry. He doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. It's first and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five. Hey, you see 
that move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grin. You're right. Runs it for four yards. Second down and six. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. Okay, man, kill, kill all on that. Yep, get on the gap, get on out. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Brem, I just dash. On it. Second down, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. 
That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third down, the offense needs a miracle. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grip. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got Boom! And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. Nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's go. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. Wow. The quarterback just threw a side. He just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. The ten. Do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. Hold everything. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Walk Dirty Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass out of bounds before he gets... Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down and forever. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. Oh, man, he shanked that. There goes my spread. And it's first and ten. And the runner is going oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. And that'll bring up second and one. And that'll...
that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Ah, oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. This guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move here. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. First down. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it, the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Second down in a mile. And they went to the air and came up big. And that'll 
bring up third down and seven. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. Well, I want Sean Kicker make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. Third down and eight. He had it for a second there. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. Third and four. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Second down to two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf! 
Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. It's a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's at the ten. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. As previous play never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left and a step to the right. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Barbecues. This guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? <laughs> and it looks like the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air the return man catches the ball and heads up field oh and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit yeah it sounds like my off season and it's first and ten the 
Brain Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. You want to get some fun on your time. Second down, and more than the QB would like. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. Second down and long. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brex's mom decided to move back in with us. Third and four. Shot to the moon. Straight through the uprights. Yeah, man. He's going to get him now. Oh, man. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> the offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it because I'm too fast. <laughs> First down and six. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! 
What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. They go to a warp speed dirty trick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. <laughs> He's coming out in the field now. I do do it. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Third down and, well, good luck. And he's held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. <laughs> Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and five. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. Now this, oh man, I love it. For six, touchdown, touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. <laughs> the 
The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. You need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Second down and a lot. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn out Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he just, oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and never going to happen. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. The defense looks hungry out there. The quarterback better watch himself. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The Tyrants defeat their opposition and walk away triumphant. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit. Because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Okay. Thank you. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off.
Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so 